One may ask that, what is the correct viewpoint toward human in this life? How should we perceive human and all other creations in this world? See, everything, every creation has three lines. It's like a triangle, okay? One line is who created him. The second line is that for sure his creator was so knowledgeable that he could create such a being. The third line is that why he created him. What is the purpose for that? Many viewpoints in this life, especially Western viewpoints, for their philosophers, you know, they forget about the first line and the third line. They don't ask who created him, and they don't ask why he created him, and they don't have an answer for that. But the second line is only there, that, okay, he is a very special being, he is very capable, he can do many things, he can do wonders, and that's it. They look at the universe in this way. They go from Earth to Moon. But it's just only about capability that we could do it. But they don't ponder upon the moon, who created the moon, and why the moon is there. What is the purpose of the moon? So this kind of viewpoint toward human, it cancels two lines and remains only with the one dead line. And this kind of look makes everything dead. Everything has no purpose in this life. Everything seems dead. Human seems dead. Our viewpoint toward life, or let's say the Islamic viewpoint or the Quranic viewpoint, it gives a special attention to all these three lines. Who created us? It doesn't matter you want to call him Allah or God or in any other language. Who created human? And what is the potential for human, meaning that he was created by someone who is very knowledgeable in creating him. And what is the purpose of human? That is the utmost important in these lines. What is, what is my purpose? Why am I here? What am I here to do? What should I do? Where is my goal? So this is the answer to this question.